If you're a gambling man, do you bet on Rami keeping his title? Absolutely. You, you would be a fool to gamble against a champion who technically looks determined. Um, he's shown us progress pictures. They're the same, if not better. Um, and I would say they're further out when he was sharing them now. And so far, he, he looks on pace. Um, we all know what he needs to do. And that is to come in shredded like he did in 2020. Um, and I and I would assume they know that 2021 wasn't the same as 2020. Right. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm, I would bet I would bet a I would bet more money on him than other people in the field for sure. What would be the strategy if you were competing today, or the advice you'd give to guys who are going up against Rami in this lineup? Um, my well, my advice would be to outcondition him. Number one, if you're not going to outcondition this guy, forget it. If you think you're just going to beat him on your own shape, like uh, I can go down the list. I mean, for myself, like the way I the way I approach Rami is to say, always try to negate his strengths. What is his strengths? Okay, well he's wider, but I, for myself, I had rounder muscles, so I wanted to make sure that I was more three D than him. We use that term really loosely right now, I believe, in our sport. Like, everybody isn't fucking 3D. I can tell you that. <laughs> no way. <laughs> they really aren't. Because if they were, they would be able to take out guys like Rami. Um, but in order to get 3D, it's all about the, the muscle per square inch. So guys like a, like a William Bonex can stand next to even Rami and have beaten him in the past because he has more, he has more quality muscle per square inch. But when Rami gets in really good shape, like we see right here, it's really fucking hard to beat. So um, I would use the same approach I always did, was just out condition them, and my muscle just happens to jump out better. But if I was going down the list, Brandon Curry, Brandon has to uh, be in better condition, period. Yeah. That's why Rami won the Olympia, because he finally got shredded. So if everyone comes in shredded, a Nick Walker comes in shredded, everybody comes in ripped, then that definitely makes the judges say, is Rami shredded? Right. They know, then it's like, well, why is everybody else shredded and he's not? Dave, you competed, you have clients, you've been to shows, and what do judges normally tell someone? You, you yeah. just didn't come in ripped enough. They never <laughs> usually yeah. say you need to be bigger. It's very rare. I, I do know that they're, they're in a bad spot with Rami because I, I describe it as bad because anytime you have an off year like Rami had last year, it's yeah. only going to mean that he's going to come in ready this year. Sure. So.